All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, this guy's got some hands on him, DC, and sometimes he takes issue when we call him a boxer because he is an MMA fighter and a well-rounded one at that but it's hard not to lead the dance and lead the walk with the boxing skills that really are off the charts. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So he can be mad, but I would be happy to be called a boxer if I possess that set of skills. If I had the ability to mix the target as well as he does, when he's most comfortable, when he's flowing, when the head is moving, when it's never on the center line, when he's landing body shots, when he's following that left body shot with that beautiful left hook, that's when he is most dangerous. It's a guy that for all that he can do in the octagon, at the end of the day, he was a boxer first and a fantastic boxer at that when he stepped into the UFC. And don't sell yourself short, you got a pretty good job. I'm trying, but I'm not this guy. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. We send it inside Ladies the octagon. Ladies and gentlemen, First this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's who does he first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA Monster. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Iron. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it clean. So here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh, yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. Lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. And he landed the right hand there. There's no give on that leg kick. Strong defense there to block the shot. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Enough. Enough. 
So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl piece. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. What a punch. Well, that nose isn't going to be able to take too many more as he doubles up on the jab there. So good to watch MMA fall and watch guys now fight behind the jab. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Connection with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, tags him with the left. So the right hand has been there, now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, going back to the uppercut. Well, nearly connected. Tags him with the overhand. Head off the center line, slips the punch. He lands a switch piece. Counters upstairs with a right. All right, so the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Big power punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another yeah. leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the leg, he's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. Ooh, what a punch. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off him. That punch, no good. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Straight punch lands. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Oh, man, I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did, because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing, it does not feel good. Right hand on point. Got to the clinch, controlled the posture, and lands big knees from in close. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Tags him with the left. Yeah, stop. Now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You ready to fight? You ready? Good. Just a slip there. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, big left hand there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Pretty good right hand. Oh, big 
big elbow. Both guys landing at a pretty decent clip. Big knee. Right hook to the head block. Oh, big left hook there. Big and kick. Back in the clinch. Watch for the knees to start to come now. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Oh! Chase that finish down now. Right hand punch to the clinch. Oh! Slips to avoid the right. Oh, man. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landing. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, thought he might have had that head kick, but just out of range. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Now connects with a right. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Lands the ground and pound strike. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Well, he's got his back now. Stop, stop, stop. He wiped him out. Just some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to this contest at four minutes of round number two. Join the winner by knockout. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.